and she walks the hills of Boca Raton. And this is a rock festival. And people were yelling, Boogie! So I, I kept playing it. I had my five-year-old with me too, Robin. Robin, we called him Bin Rob, Boy Blunder. And he, was, he wasn't going to sit down there with all of those freaks. He came up on stage with me and sat on a chair and had his peace sign on the end of a leather thong. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of martial arts. <laughs> and I played until somebody clapped, and then I ran. And I went home and I wrote a song about it. You might say I've been cathartically sharing that rejection with audiences. Well, it was 1960 something. And I went out to the West in 66, or probably 68. First official rock festival ever held in BC. They didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> the municipality actually sanctioned it. The sleepy little military town of Aldergrove had about 30,000 people show up on that weekend. Came into town as a man and I a song about freedom and joy. And I was presented as the kind of a singer most folks could enjoy. Yeah. As I climbed up the stair to the stage, it was there. It was obvious something was missing. I could tell by the vibes they wouldn't be bribed. They weren't. No. 